So we start with the measures of central tendency, which are three. We have the mean, the median, and the mode, and we are going to go uh, step by step showing you each, each of them. And this is the explanation when you will learn how to do it is in quantitative lab. I said I will repeat this like 10,000 times another time. But here we're going to learn what is mean, what is mean, and what is mode. So for me, the easiest way to calculate this is in Excel because I love Excel. I'm an accountant, so I love Excel. But you can also do, you, you can also do this on SPSS. So it's not that big, you can, if, if you're, you can also do it by hand if your sample is not that large. But anyway, let's start with the easiest of them, the mean. Well, all of them are super easy, but we start with the mean. Mean is the same as the average. And just be careful because we also have the weighted average. Uh, we're going to talk about that in a second, but this is the simple average. We call it arithmetical average or mean. And this is very, very easy. You only have to add up all the values in your sample and divide it by the number of observations that you have. A few things that can make this a bit difficult. Imagine that you have maybe module, well, this, this, is, this is a grade, right? And you are quite familiar with this. This is the grade in each module. And so you, you add up all of, the, all of your grades and you divide it by the number of modules and that's your average, 73%. But imagine that it is something a bit different. Maybe it's the amount of um, amount, the minutes of exercise per day. So maybe you have 82 minutes on day one, 78 day two, blah, 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 right? So six days, but on Sunday you rest. So that will give you zero. If you do this, Exactly like this, imagine module, uh, module, day, day, sorry, but I mind. Mind that you have day seven and you have zero. So minutes, right? Minutes of exercise. Day one, day two, 82, 78, 80 minutes, blah, blah, blah. And you have Sunday when you rest. If you calculate the average with this zero, your average of minutes per exercise will drop drastically. So in that case, maybe you should ignore Sunday. Like maybe you should not consider Sunday as part of your sample. That I, so this is kind of something that you, can, that you can use later on because it can be tricky when you have outliers in your sample. We're going to talk about also later, but when you have something that will affect drastically your average, Maybe it is worth reflecting if it is part of your sample of, or not. So this is a good example where maybe you can do that. But generally, it's super easy to calculate the mean. Then we move to the median. And the, in, to, the median is the number that is exactly in the middle when you order your sample from the smallest to the largest number. So this is exactly what we are doing in here. You are ordering the... Um, you are ordering your um, your grade from lowest to highest, and whatever is in the middle, that will be your median. And this is a good example because when you have uh, odd numbers, like three, five, seven numbers of observation, there is no problem because there will always be one in the middle. But when you have even numbers, like in here, you have six observations, the middle will be in between this and this, 70 and 78. So what you have to do is only to have to get to calculate the average of these two as seen here. Okay. And the median will be kind of the halfway between these two numbers. Okay. But that is when you have even numbers. If you have odd numbers in the number of observations, it will be super easy. So that is the median. What is in the middle? And then we move to the mode. Mode is easier to explain in Spanish because in Spanish, the word for mode is moda, which is the same as fashion. <laughs> so moda, fashion, is what most of the people is using. Something that is a fashion, in fashion, is something that is popular. So it's the same thing in here. The mode or the fashion, if you want to use that name, is 
what is the thing that is most popular in here? What is the number that is the most popular number? So in this example, the most popular number is 64, okay? So in, in this case, the, we, are select, we are saying that the mode is 64. So median and mode are relevant. They, 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 you can, you can, mm, these are something that can be useful, but not all the time they are that relevant. Like they are from one to 10, I would say there are like five level of relevance. <laughs> so, but the mean is definitely 10. Mean is extremely relevant. The average is maybe the, one of the most important descriptive statistics. Median and mode, it depends on the context. Maybe they are really relevant. So that's why I would say five out of 10 in relevance, but super important. But they're so easy that sometimes it's, and, and, and in Excel, you have the, the, the formulas already. So you can just use the formula and Excel will calculate it for you. You don't have to do it manually. The same with this PSS. And how do you report this? Some, the most uh, used to, or easiest way to do it is with a table. So you have your variable turnover. So we're going back to the to the to this. <laughs> so you have turnover. You are showing that you have uh, seven hundred and ninety observations. All of them are valid. Like you don't have like a missing value or something like that that will be missing when you don't have data for for observation. All of your you all of your observations have a value, and then you report the mean. Then you report the median and you report the mode. So, as you can see, this is nice, right? Like, you know, the average is 697. But this is kind of difficult to understand, like, and to interpret 8. 8,000 is the most. So, the most popular turnover was 8,000. Mm, well, mm, I don't. <laughs> we need more things to, 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 to interpret this a little bit more, but that is kind of the spirit of the um, measures of central tendency, the mean, the median, and the mode. Let's move to the um, measures of dispersion in the next period. 